Hello friends, how are you all doing? I hope each and every one of you are in best of your health. Welcome to our channel, plants, crochet, cooking and more. Today I am going to show you how we can make a simple granny square which will be used with another pattern to make a beautiful cushion cover. So let's begin. making a magic ring and after that I'll be making three double crochet for the second one and now that's the third one then I'm going to chain three and again I'll make another set of three double crochet Similarly, we are going to make another two such clusters. So we will be having four clusters of three double crochet along with three chains in between. Once the clusters are done, we will join the end point with the starting point with the help of a slip stitch. Now for making this pattern, I am using the off-white colored yarn and uh, the hook size is number 12. Now we are pulling the tail and then with the slip stitch, it's complete. Now we chain 3 and make one double crochet in the chain space and another one in the chain space and then we will pass the hook through it all together now again chain four and we'll do a slip stitch in the chain gap of three after making chain four we again make one double crochet in the chain space half done double crochet actually when the three double crochets are done and when we have four stitches on the hook then we'll pass it through so that we can get the cluster now again chain four and slip stitch on the three chains space similarly all the four points are to be I have zoomed in it will be easy for you to understand see you've got four stitches on the hook now we'll pass the hook through it now we make a chain of four and then we slip stitch into the gap in the similar manner we need to work on all the four points then we can move to the next row We make a chain of three and then in the uh, four chain gap we make four number of double crochet then we will make one double crochet in the stitch where the slip stitch was done in the previous row and again four double crochet in the Four chain gap it is better to count 
once the stitches are done we will move to the tip of the cluster and make one double crochet and then chain three and another double crochet in the same point so that we get a V after that we are going to make four double crochet in the chain gaps like we did in the previous set then one double crochet in the slip stitch and again a set of four double crochet in the four chain gap the same manner will work in all the four points Once the end point is reached, we'll slip stitch. See here the V portion is formed. Now we'll make two chain and then sorry three chain and slip stitch into the previous double crochet. If we count our double crochets in this row, we'll have eleven number. Now we make a chain of 3 and we will continue making double crochet on top of the previous rows double crochet till we reach the corner. When we reach the corner we will make 2 double crochet and then 3 chain and another 2 double crochet and then we will continue again in the same manner by making double crochet on top of the previous row now to be on the safer side if we count this double uh, crochet stitches we'll have 15 such stitches all the four sides are to be worked in the same manner and finally it is to be joined with the slip stitch. See, now we have only one more row to do. Start off by making a chain of three and then continue with our double crochets like how we had done in the previous row but we need to remember that in the corners we'll do two double crochet then chain three again two double crochet in the same manner in all the four sides one thing i would like to mention here that once you complete each side please do count it and when we count it we'll have 19 number of double crochets in each side This pattern is quite easy so we can use it in our other projects too other than the cushion covers. Now see we have reached the end and so with the help of a slip stitch we are attaching the two ends and our first granny square is complete. Here we are going to start off with our second granny square for which we will be making a flower having three sets of petals now see we are chain seven and then slip stitch into the first chain once the circle is made we are going to chain three one two and three and chain of two that means five chains now we make one double crochet in the ring and again chain two one double crochet in the ring again chain two in the same manner 
we need to make eight such gaps or in other words we'll have uh, seven such double crochets then we'll have eight gaps you just count it once we have eight gaps then we'll join the ends with the help of a slip stitch here we are going to slip stitch on the third chain circle is ready now we chain one and then we'll start working in the gaps here we this is single crochet we we'll keep working in it half double crochet then three number of double crochet one two and three and then half double crochet in the same space here we are making the petal and then a single crochet in the same space then we chain one and a slip stitch now see our first petal is ready then we jump to the next gap by making a single crochet then again half double crochet which will be followed by three double crochet that's the third double crochet then again half double crochet and then single one single crochet and chain one and slip stitch using the same process we need to work in all the gaps in all the eight gaps so that we have eight petals at the end of this circle or the row we need to keep the tension uh, similar so that we have petals of similar sizes So we are working on our last petal. We are working on the last half double crochet, then a single crochet, then chain one and slip stitch in the same space okay now we turn our work and we will make a slip stitch in the pillar of the double crochet at the back once that is done we'll start making chains we'll chain four one two three and four and then again slip stitch into the double crochet bar or the pillar we have eight such pillars the same manner we need to work all around till we have eight such loops When our last 
uh, chain of four is done we'll slip stitch into the first loop now we chain one and then start working in the loops that we have just made by making one single crochet then one half double crochet then four number of double crochet one that is the second one the third and the fourth and then we make half double crochet then a single crochet and then chain one and slip stitch in the same gap so our first petal is ready now we jump into the next loop by making a single crochet and we'll work in the same manner again then a half double crochet then four double crochet That's the half double crochet and then a single crochet and then chain one and slip stitch so our second petal is ready same manner we need to work in all the loops that means in all the eight loops at the end of this uh, row we'll have eight number of petals in the second layer now we are moving on to our third step by making a slip stitch again in the column of the uh, double crochet at the back now we'll again chain six like how we are done in the previous row we are chained four following the same process we'll chain six to make the loops a little bit longer after the chain of six is done we'll jump into the next uh, double crochet column and make a slip stitch when we work in this kind of patterns we need to be a little careful now there the slip stitch is being done then now we are going to make six chains two three four five and six and make a slip stitch in another double crochet column We'll work in the same manner by making six chain loops all around the eight petals and we'll stop when we have eight such loops and the final loop uh, when the eighth loop is done we'll slip stitch it into the first loop as we had done in the previous row. see here we are going to slip stitch that means we are going to make we are going to join it actually straight and simple see so that is done we'll start off by making chain one and then we'll start off with the petals the third row of petals here it is single crochet then half double crochet then six number of double crochet that's the second 
then the third, then the fourth, that's the fifth one, and the sixth one. Now we'll make half double crochet. Then a single crochet in the same space and then chain one and slip stitch. Our first petal is complete of the third row. Now we'll jump into the next loop by making a single crochet, then a half double crochet, then six number of double crochet. Then again one half double crochet, then one single crochet and then chain one and slip stitch. Process is very simple, just the number of double crochets in the middle is increasing. First we had three, then we had four and now we have six. Besides that, everything is same. Keep working in the same process till we have 8 number of petals in our newly formed loop. Now you must be wondering why I made those uh, simple granny square in the beginning and wh what I am doing with the flowers. Actually that first granny square I'll be combining with this floral granny square and we'll be stitching it together so that we can get a pretty combination for a cushion cover done with our flowers now I'm attaching a green colored yarn and we'll be working a slip stitch and then we'll work one double crochet in the same space then we'll chain five three four and five and then we'll jump into the tip of the next petal here we'll make a triple crochet one see we'll not complete it We'll leave it half done. Now that's the second triple crochet and the third one. Now we'll complete our triple crochet. Once we have four stitches on a hook, then we chain three and we'll make another set of triple crochet in the same space. Actually, this we are making the corner of our granny square. One triple crochet. The second triple crochet, half done triple crochets, again another half done triple crochet. Once that is done and once we have four stitches on the hook, we'll pass our hook through it. Now chain three and the final triple crochet cluster is being made so that a pretty corner is formed. We chain 5 again and then we make a single crochet on the tip of the uh, next petal and similarly after that we chain 5 and then we'll again start making the cluster. To follow the steps properly. first cluster is complete now using the same process which I had shown you in the first cluster all the corners are to be done in the same manner till we have four such corners See, 
basically what we have is four triple crochet corners and four single crochet st stitch points finally we join with the help of a slip stitch as we all know uh, that it is one of the most important stitch in crocheting using a different colored yarn we will be starting right in the middle of the single crochet and will chain three after that we are going to work five double crochet in the five chain loop we make one chain and then we make three double crochet again now again chain one and then we'll work in the corner by making three double crochet in chain three and again three double crochet in the same point We are going to chain one and work three double crochet in that particular space. Then again chain one and five double crochet in that five chain gap. Once that is done, we are going to make one double crochet in the single crochet stitch which we had made on the tip of the petal. And similarly again, five double crochet in the five chain loop. And when we reach the corner, we will repeat the same process that we had done earlier. And in the similar manner, we are going to work all around. I have worked uh, this granny square using two different colors yellow and pink here I am showing you in the yellow using the yellow yarn I have also made four number of pink flowers this is four number of yellow flowers and I'll be combining this with the first granny square which we had learned So we are finally working in the last corner and soon we'll make a slip stitch to complete this particular row. We have uh, completed a granny square. Now we'll just arrange it. We have planned to arrange it this way. It is up to you how you want to place your granny squares. Now let me tell you one thing: the floral granny squares which I have made is 18 number, and the plain ones or the simple ones which I have made is 16 numbers for the back portion and 8 numbers for the front portion. 
for the front portion is stitched and this is for the back portion the back portion we need 16 such uh, squares see I hope you all like it now stitching is complete now I'll stitch the two uh, sides of the cushion cover see how pretty it looks it is up to you uh, to choose the colors you can use the same colors you can use different colors you can use two colors three colors it is up to you now the stitching is complete see how pretty it looks well friends I hope you all will also give it a try and make this pretty cushion cover you can use the two patterns together or you can work it uh, as individual patterns it is up to you friends thank you for staying till the end please do not forget to share subscribe and comment to hit the like button if you found the video interesting and if you are new to our channel do consider subscribing stay tuned for more interesting videos in future so till then be safe, keep smiling and keep watching Plants Crush It Cooking and more. So it is bye for today. Bye bye.